Hello friends, today we will see 4 point and 8 point convolution. Let's consider x, xn and hn two signal given to us. xn is 1, 2, 0, 1 and hn is 2, 2, 1, 1. The, how the 4 point convolution will be calculated? First, we will write 1, 2, 0, 1. This 1 will go up, that is 1, 1, 2, 0 and it is will be multiplied by 2 2 1 1 and the answer will be 4 point convolution this is because each and every signal these two signals are having only four samples in 8 point convolution xn will be padded with four more zeros like this chen will also will be padded with four more zeros so it will be and in similar way convolution between these two signals will be 8 point convolution let's see how the program looks like okay so these three commands we had considered two signals x and h we had calculated the size of x over here now this x we need to convert into 4 by 4 matrix from 1 by 4 matrix okay so let's consider that matrix as x1 first we need to convert this row array into the column array this has been done in this command then for three points what we need to do is that we need to rotate it how we can do this so this is 1 2 0 1 this one need to come over here this 2 need to come over here, this 0 need to come over here. So it will look like this 1, 2, 0 and this 1 need to go up. So it will be like this. So let's see how it is done in the program. This is the line which does this operation. To This 1 comes over here, this 2 comes over here, this 0 comes over here. That means the y of n plus 1 will be assigned as x1 of n the current that is this one will be assigned to the next position of this two but what will happen with this fourth one that y1 need to get assigned as x1 of nth in our case it is 4 this has been done or here once this is done we need to append that circulation to our x1 it has been carried out over here okay we need to save the current circulation this has been done over here once this matrix has been formed we need to multiply with the h this has been carried out over here let's see how the output looks like x is this one 1 2 0 1 h is this one 2 2 1 1 and output is 6 7 6 5 similarly we need to go for the 8 point convolution and in the end point the 4 point or the 4 samples signal is converted into 8 sample signal by appending these zeros same things are carried out over here the circulation and creation of the matrix and multiplying that matrix with the h and this is x10 gives the output let's see how the output looks like so this is x and four zeros are padded over here this is h and four zeros are padded over here and this is the output now if we'll compare the output of this eight point with the four point we observe that the outputs are not same let's see why it is now the first one this one is the output of four point and this one is the output of eight point uh, it is interesting to see what is happening over here let's consider this is two six five five four one one zero let's consider this samples now we are getting only four samples in the four point convolution so we will only consider this what to do with this four these four are going to overlap with this initial 
four samples. So what we what it is four one one zero. So it has been overlapped. So what will be the output? It will be six seven six five, and it is similar to that of the four point convolution. So what is happening over here in the four point? It there is the overlapping in time domain, overlapping of samples in the time domain. and it is known as aliasing then the continuous signal it looks like this so what happens is that this is continuous signal and in the first four samples the last four samples of previous sam uh, previous signals gets overlap and we get this output this is the aliasing in time domain thank you